Reporting Intrastat involves filling in the Intrastat journal followed by selecting how we need to submit the reports to the tax authorities. We do not post Intrastat journals. They're used only for reporting purposes. We can fill in the journal automatically using the Suggest Lines batch job found under Process in the ribbon. This job will only include item entries specifically from the statistics period that we designated on the journal batch. Business Central will take these lines and input them into the journal. General ledger entries will not be included. Alternatively, we can input lines manually. This is used to record, usually, GL entries and fixed assets, along with item ledger entries like service charges, freight costs, and landed costs. An example could be if we purchase a computer from another EU region, we would not bring that computer into inventory. Instead, we would post the purchase to a GL account. This is a line that would need to be manually entered into Intrastat. When we're done filling in the Intrastat journal, we can run the checklist report action to verify our data on the journal is correct. The fields that we set up as mandatory on the checklist when we set up Intrastat earlier will be checked against the lines and any missing values will be shown as an error in the error messages fact box on the right hand side. For reference, the area that I'm referring to under Intrastat setup is the checklist setup that we had here where we specified our mandatory codes for the journal. When we're happy with how the journal looks, we can then send these entries to a file using the create file function, again, under the process uh, in the ribbon at the top. The file this produces can then be submitted to our Intrastat authority. And if we want to, we can use the Intrastat form report where we can specify our journal template name for Intrastat and the batch and generate the report from there. So to summarize how to report Intrastat, we can do as follows. So the first thing we do is go to our Intrastat journal templates page and set up our journal templates. We then navigate to the batches for that particular template and set up our batches as we need. As we create our batches, we'll need to make sure that A, we've named them appropriately, and B, that we've filled in our statistics period in specifically YYMM format. Again, if I use 2005, that's May of 2020, and 2006 would be June of 2020. When we've done this, we can go into the batch we've created, and we can use the process suggest lines function the start and end date will be automatically populated to cover our statistics period on the batch. And we can fill in the request page as is necessary and hit OK. This should populate the lines on the journal. And we can then print our checklist report or export our journal to file, which we can then submit to our authorities.